Hi friends, it's Penny Wolf and I have a thrift haul uh, video to share with you today. I got some kind of interesting pieces. If you haven't watched any of my other videos before, I sell on eBay. I've been selling on eBay for quite a few years and um, I also sell on Poshmark too the last few years. I list everything on eBay <clears throat> and then I only list certain things on uh, Poshmark. It just depends if I think that it will be the type of item that would sell over there. Poshmark is a little bit, a little bit younger, a little bit more trendy. We'll get right on to it. Um, I wouldn't have picked this up, but it was new with tags. It's really actually kind of cool. Some people, I think, said that they do all right with skorts, or not skorts, but uh, pantsuits. But I don't. I think they're kind of hard to sell. But look how adorable this is. It's polka dot. It's not quite as bright pink as what that shows. It's more like a red. This is a loft plus size, and it looks like it's an 18. Um, doesn't have how much it was new, but, you know, I paid a dollar. If you get $20 out of it, that would be a really great return on investment. One of the things with clothing is volume. You want to list it as much as you can every single day, consistently every day, and you'll have consistent sales that way. You're supposed to be able to eventually get it up to where... Um, if you, um, you know, list 10 a day, you'd be selling 10 a day, but it takes a while to get there. Um, and I don't know how long, but anyways, I find that if I list, it's about half. If I list, um, 15, I have, you know, on a consistent basis and I have about seven sales a day consistently. That's kind of how it goes. But with clothing, it's volume. You're going to have a lot of your, you know, maybe $10 profit, 15, 20, you know, but that adds up really quick. This is an anthropology, or no, I'm sorry, this is a free people. And um, I picked it up because it's really actually cute. It is a, um, it's a little plaid. It's not exactly flannel. I don't know. It's more like a knit, but look at the detail that it has on the side here. It's kind of got like this lace up, kind of like side on that, you know, where it like laces up. It's kind of cool. But if you're not familiar, um, you know, free people is this tiny little tag. And uh, also there's another brand that looks a lot like it. It's called Poof. P-O-F-F, -F, and you got to make sure that you don't pick that up and thinking it's a free people. Some pe free people things sell for quite a bit of money and kind of quickly. Others will sit or not sell for very much. You want to kind of do your comps. But this I paid either, I think I just paid a couple dollars for it. And um, I went ahead and, you know, got it because I thought, well, this time of year, that will probably sell. This brand, I've always really liked this brand. It's very, they're incredibly soft. It's a logo by Lori Goldstein. And this used to be a really great seller on eBay. It used to sell, you know, for quite a bit of money. And it seems like it was pretty quick. Lately, it seems like it's really hard to get this brand to sell. Unless, um, I sold a couple of them that were sleeveless. It was the logo lounge. However, this is a plus size 3X. This will sell. I haven't done comps on this. But, you know, between 19 and 29, I would like to get out of that. And uh, it's logo with Lori uh, Goldstein. Or Goz yeah, Goldstein. And uh, they're, it's very soft. And uh, that will be a great uh, return on investment. I do sh charge for shipping on all the things that I sell. Um, I know a lot of people do free shipping. Leave in the comments whether you do free shipping or if you charge for shipping and how that's working out for you. Um, I do. I charge for shipping. And I've been watching or listening and to a couple other watching uh, YouTube um, um, people that, you know, sell on eBay. And they're big sellers. They list like 100 to 250 items a day, and they charge for shipping. However, I know there are some other really big sellers that do free shipping. Um, this I picked up. It's a Victoria's Secret bra. And Victoria's Secret bras do sell. People do buy uh, used lingerie. And um, this is just, it's kind of like a padded push-up. And a lot of times on Victoria's Secret, it'll have a name style. Um, and, um, I don't know if this one does, I don't have my glasses on and, um, but sometimes they will, um, but it's Victoria's Secret. And, um, I think, you know, I, I used to always, you know, question, it was like, people really buy used, you know, like bras and stuff they do, but I'll tell you what, Victoria's Secret's bras are made really nice. And, um, I see how come people do pay more money for them because they're made really nice and they probably last a really long time. Um, I have another one and this one. I paid up for because it was super cute because it's got the really bold uh, pink Victoria's Secret, you know, um, pattern on it, logo. And it's also like that. Um, it's almost like a cottony look, although it's not cotton. I doubt it. But it's a push-up padded bra. This is a really nice bra. Some bras go for quite a little bit. I don't know. I would have to say this is the pink Victoria's Secret. 
And I would have to say, um, I don't know, 15 to 25 maybe. I don't know. And I like, bras are easy to list. They really are. There's a few other uh, bra brands that sell really nicely too, but you'd want to look them up and do comps. Um, this is also a, um, this is a We The Free, which is a free people. And, you know, for a while there, I was thinking maybe the We The Free didn't sell um, as much as free people. But lately, i kind of been noticing that it does. I wasn't sure about this because some pieces you get, they don't sell. But this is really cool. I know it's hard to tell. If I hold it here, it's a little bit more truer to the color. You get closer, sometimes it looks lighter. This is like a, a bluish gray. And it's really like a boho little open front carnigan sweatshirt kind of. I thought it was really cool. I think this this will sell. And um, I'll have to do comps. Like I said, on some of these pieces, you can get quite a little bit. But, you know, 10 to 25 on that. Okay. Vineyard Vines, and um, I love Vineyard Vines. It's one of my favorite brands because I love that whale logo. I think it's super cool. But anyways, uh, Vineyard Vines did do um, a collaboration, I think, with Target or something a few years ago, and it kind of made the, you know, um, the prices go down a little bit. However, men's still sell for quite a little bit, you know, and a little quicker. And also, I found out that I've been looking on a few children things, and I haven't ever really listed kids stuff because I know... It doesn't seem like it sells for much, and there's, you know, it's probably really flooded, but there's some pieces that do. Vineyard Vines is one of them. And, um, anyways, this is an extra small, and uh, this actually um, would be like a men's extra small, and it's white. This is in really good condition. I don't know, 15 to 20, but um, I think this will be kind of a quick sale. It's Vineyard Vines, and, uh, but anyways, but the kids sell some. The girls, women's do too, but the men's, I find... I think sell for a little bit more and a little quicker. Also with um, Life is Good, those t-shirts or either they're short sleeve or long sleeve, the men sell for more and quicker than the women's. And sometimes they can be a little beat up looking and they sell. It depends on which one. This is called Vince by Lucky Brand. I think it's Vince Burnout by Lucky Brand. And I just sold um, a long sleeved one and it took a little while, but it did sell. This is a short sleeved one. And I thought, oh, I'll take a chance on this. Um, I don't know what color the tag was uh, for the this store that I was at um, over the weekend. And I don't know if I paid a dollar or a couple dollars for, I might've paid um, two, I don't know, maybe a couple dollars. It's, you probably won't be able to see that on there. It's real faded out, but it's um, Lucky Brand by Vince Burnout. And, um, you know, Ten to twenty dollars. This is another Vineyard Vines, and this one I did pick up. This is a small, and um, this I think is a men's small. Now this one, I don't know if it was originally supposed to look like that. I doubt it, but it's got, got like cracking, you know, on the um, logo. And I'll just note that. But if it doesn't have any stains, it will still sell for quite a little bit, you know. And like I said, maybe ten to twenty dollars on them. This I think is an anthropology line. But I don't remember, and I picked it up quickly because I got tired and I didn't look it up. And um, this, I think, was a dollar. And this is called um, Hestered Orchard, and it's but it is a flannel. And I thought, well, it's not quite as bright as what that shows on there. It's more of a darker, you know, just regular plain like orange. But I think that might be anthropology. I could be wrong on this one. Took a chance. But for a dollar, I thought I'd take a chance on it. I was getting tired and I didn't um, look up stuff. Um, and on Fridays, when they go to the dollar tag stuff, you got to be really quick in your thrifting. One, there's competition. Two, there's a lot of racks to go through. I go to two different thrifting stores generally on Friday now, and um, I don't always take time to look up the stuff. When I go on Wednesday, I look up stuff more because things are only like 25% off for senior citizen or, you know, or there'll be a half off color tag. This is a White House black market. It was new with tags. I was a little hesitant because I tell you what, sparkly stuff, I have a hard time selling. Metallic. However, this is a really cute top, and it's new with tags. It's ombre. That's what that's called, where it kind of fades to another color. Ombre would be A-M-B-R-E. and uh, But it's it's like metallic. It's sparkly. But look, it really is a beautiful top. It's kind of like got a higher neck. It's actually, wow, I probably should think about keeping this one. I don't know. I shouldn't. But this is a really, really pretty top. But it was brand new with tags. It doesn't have how much it was brand new. That way, I don't know for sure how much it would sell. But you only get a fraction uh, uh, for stuff, even if it's brand new. It takes the list is probably, you know, well, maybe even that. I don't know, but they're really high-end brands. Um, and that's how come I say, if you want to buy something brand new, buy on eBay. Because it sells for the fraction of the price. And even on Posh, it sells for less. 
But remember, the manufacturer price is always a little bit more sometimes than what they sell in the store. I'm most, you know. But um, if this was like, let's say, $59 or something like that, you would be really fortunate maybe to get 29 It might sell for 19 I don't know. If it sells really cheap, I'll just keep it because it's beautiful. <laughs> and I really like the color. Okay. This is uh, Staring at Stars. This is an anthropology line. And I don't know. you got to really check your comps on anthropology because some of the stuff doesn't sell very quickly anymore. But I love the name of this. I love stars. And it's called Staring at Stars. And I picked it up. It's an open front carnigan. However, it is kind of, it's actually sleeveless. I don't know. I don't like to do sleeveless or short sleeve sweaters that often. However, for a while there, I think the summer um, sleeveless... Um, Sweaters were selling. You could list it as a shell or a sweater. I don't, or vest. I don't know if it was really a vest. I always think of vest of being button up. But anyhow, I don't know. I got to do comps on this. Some pieces still sell with anthropology and some don't sell for very much. You got to check comps. But I bought that, um, I don't know, maybe a couple of bucks and um, hopefully I can get 15 or 20 out of it. This is a J. Crew. And um, if you're not familiar, J. Crew will have a date on there and they have a style tag and you can Google it and look it up. I don't know what the date is on this because I don't have my glasses on, but this is Gin Cham. And I really like Gin Cham. I think it does kind of sell. Um, you know, and this this could be an older one. I took a chance on it and, um, you know, maybe around $10, 15 Some pieces still sell for 20 with um, J. Crew for a long time. I didn't really pick up J. Crew or I stopped picking it up because it seemed like it just didn't want to sell. However, the trick is, is on there it'll have the date. It'll be like OH, just for an example, OH, you know, 15. That'd be holiday 2015. I heard you should maybe buy stuff that's the last few years. It'd be like, you know, 18, 19, 20, 21, maybe 17. But I don't know. But if you get cashmere or the merino wool and it's older, they still sell in some styles. This is brand new with tags. I took a chance on it um, because even though stuff's brand new with tags, sometimes it doesn't sell. This was uh, $36. It was Mervyn's, California. I don't know if Mervyn's is even around anymore. I don't know. I'll have to look this up. This could be vintage by now. <laughs> At least, you know, because anything over 20 is like vintage. But it's a really pretty little dress. And um, it is uh, this brand. I don't know because... I haven't looked up that brand, David Wayne. I doubt it. it. Well, obviously, it wasn't a really high end, you know, price, but I'll still list it. Hope, hopefully, that will sell. You gotta watch it though, because some stuff new with tags, even though you know, especially some of the mall brands. I know some mall brands, some resellers sell used even, but there's a lot of times that you'll find stuff that's new with tags, and you can't hardly even move it, you know, if it's not a great brand. This could have a spot on it. It looks like on the shoulder. That's not a plus. Okay. This is, you know, plus to have the spot. This is Covington, and I only picked it up because new with tags. It is plus size 24, 26W, which that's getting close to the 2X, close to a 3X size, and it's striped, long sleeve pullover. This will sell, but only because it's plus size. If this would have been regular size clothing, I would not have ever picked it up, you know, with that brand. But plus size clothing, I thought, I, you know, that that would maybe sell, but maybe $10, $15. This is uh, Lane Bryant, and uh, was this, new? this is new with tags also. Um, it was only $24.95, and uh, Lane Bryant, I only pick up certain pieces. The semi-sheer, sometimes some of the floral, those have been selling, but this is kind of like a long sleeve tee, and, uh, but, you know, with it being brand new with tags, but I bet you any money, $10, $15, bucks maybe, you know? be right around there maybe um but you know i also like i said i charge for shipping this is um i i took a chance on this i don't pick up very much loft but this was a really cute dress and i think this is a bigger size um 16 or 18 and it's a wrap dress it's really cute it's a little wrap dress and um i think this will sell because it's a larger size um i don't know on um, pricing on this because i haven't been picking up you know the loft brand in that size but 10 to 20 maybe something like that and um this is angel of the north and i picked it up because i love that name and um and i thought it was absolutely beautiful i've hardly ever come across this and it's a sweater it's got a little bit of metallic in it it's actually very pretty it's a high low it's got like this little lace panel on the rear it's actually a very pretty sweater this is anthropology 
I don't know if that's still selling, but I would say maybe. And I had to pick it up just because of the novelty of the fact that I have not come across it maybe once or twice, if that. I don't even know if I have. But um, I thought, I got to pick it up for that. And But some pieces do still sell in anthropology. Um, 10 to 25, I think, would be maybe the average on that. Anyhow, that um, is it for the thrift haul today. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and you got some valuable content out of it. If you could do me a favor and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. And push the thumbs up button too. May you have many prosperous sales. And also, may you have a very blessed day. Thank you.